So when you look at the marble of our church, the most striking feature are these bands, these layers of different color, many of which are strikingly dark red, um, and others of which are white or grayish color. They're kind of reminiscent of banded iron formations that you can see elsewhere in Western Australia and in other parts of the world. But they're somewhat different. Um, there's much more of this white churdy material and the overall depositional setting, the, 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 the context in which these rocks were deposited, isn't as clear. It's not clear that these were shallow water and on the other, in fact, there is reason to think that these were deposited in deep water. So they're a somewhat different thing and they're also substantially older. Um, so as geologists, we want to understand what is the cause of these different uh, layers, what do they represent. These dark red ones uh, are the result of iron. Iron in its oxidized form, kind of, kind of rust-like material, very much like what you find in the reddish layers of banded iron formations. Uh, and these whitish layers are chert, uh, silicon and oxygen bound together with relatively little iron in them. And then there are darker gray layers that have um, actually have some organic carbon in them, uh, which is part of what gives it the dark color, as well as some iron sulfide, uh, pyrite, fool's gold, in them, also giving it a darkish color.